You ready? You're ready. <laughs> Great. All right. This is the real magic for French bread. What you want when you have French bread is that fabulous crusty exterior and that light and fluffy chewy interior. Here is how you do it without having a commercial oven. You need a glass of cold water, a spray bottle full of cold water, a little pan, just about like this one. You see this one up here? I have one of those just like this one in the bottom of my oven. And you also need a couple of bricks. That's it. Now, the two bricks and the cast iron pan are in the bottom of my oven. Now, those are in there to do two things. The bricks are in there to help maintain a high 400 degree temperature throughout the baking time. It's going to need help maintaining the temperature because I'm going to be opening the oven a lot. The cast iron pan is in there because when I put this bread in there in just a minute, I'm going to simultaneously dump the pan full of cold water, which is going to create a burst of steam, and that is what helps get that lovely brown crusty exterior. The other thing I'm going to do is four times total at the very beginning and at two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, I'm going to spray him with cold water. The total baking time is going to be 18 minutes for this particular loaf. It's not nearly as difficult as you think. You spray it, go two minutes, spray, two minutes, spray, two minutes, spray, and then he gets another, what, 12, 14 minutes? That's it. So all you have to do at this point is remember, you want the burst of steam, and then you want to keep the steam up during the initial baking time so that that's when you get that lovely, crusty, beautiful on the outside. Okay? Now, just to make a traditional loaf, you would kind of do the single slash across the top, and you only need to go down maybe a half an inch. What you do want to do is make sure that your knife is really good and sharp. Okay? So come over here. Now, that is done because the yeast, when it goes into the oven, and the moisture inside the bread is going to work with the gluten matrix that the flour made, and it's going to cause it to rise. You want some place to help the dough expand correctly. That's what that's for. All right? So he's going to go in the oven, and I'm going to dump my water and get my spray bottle going. All right? Here we go. You can hear the water sizzle right when he goes in. A home oven will lose temperature very quickly. Every time you open the door, you've lost a good 50 degrees. However, by having the cast iron pan and those two big fat bricks in there, the oven is going to stay more constantly hot. We want to keep him up at 400 degrees. So that was my first spray. I set my little timer for two minutes. When that happens, I'm going to pull the bread out, rotate the pan around the other way, spray it again, and go another two minutes. I'm going to do it a total of four times, so I've got three times left, and then we're going to bake him off for, I don't know, what is, six, 18, 12, 12 minutes, maybe 14. I'll do the math. <laughs> All right, this is the fourth total time that we're going to spray the bread. See how that's expanded and it opened up along the little fault line that we gave it? Whoa, whoops. It's the San Andreas in my oven. Okay, that's all we're going to do. And I don't think it'll show up, but there's still just a tiny bit of water in my cast iron pan, which means that the rest of it is turned to steam, helping out that crust. Now, normally I would give it 12 more minutes from here, because normally I let it cool for quite a bit when I bring it out of the oven. But I realized that this time I'm going to cut it right away. If you cut it right away, it doesn't have time for the carryover cooking to finish. Well, we want some carryover cooking. Normally. This time, however, wait, what did I, are we going to cut this one? Okay, we're going to cut this one right away, so I wanted to have a few more minutes. I have two or three loaves of bread going. I forgot which one I was doing what to. So I'm going to give this one an extra two minutes in the oven, so a total of 14. All right, does that make sense? So this loaf in the oven, start to finish, 20 minutes. All right? If you're going to let it cool down, you can take it out at 18 minutes. This one, we're going to break open and slather butter on have a party. I'll be back. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love this. This is just exciting. Okay, here we go. This. French bread. Hey. Okay, 
you want this rich, beautiful golden color. And listen, can you hear that? It's hollow, or it sounds hollow. And if I pick him up and tap him on his underside, just like a little baby. Oh gosh, it's hot. All right, wait a minute. Let me do it with two. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? You hear that? It sounds hollow. That's exactly what you're after. Because the yeast and the gluten and the flour have worked together with the water that was in the dough and have created an open network. And you're gonna have all of these beautiful little holes. When you tap the bread, you can hear it. So if your bread has come to the correct doneness inside and you tap it, you can hear it. It's fabulous. All right, we're going to let him cool. He does need to cool for a few minutes. I'm not going to let it go the whole hour or two hours that normally you want your French bread to come to. What I want is warm and toasty. Right now, it's just too daggone hot. So we're going to let him sit here and get where we want him, and I'll be back and slice it open and let you see how heavenly this stuff is on the inside. All right, so this one cooled down to the point where I could handle it. And in the meantime, I made another one with the second batch. That's just another shape. To do him, you just make it long and you make four slashes across it like this. All right, this is what you're looking for. We have the crusty outside, which is wonderful. And then you see this texture in here? All those little holes. And the big ones are even better. exactly what you want. And the fragrance, uh, the aroma is actually, you know, one of those absolutely unbelievable. So there's really not a whole lot to making French bread. It's got five ingredients. You let it rise a couple times. Make sure you have lots of moisture in your oven and you keep the temperature up. That's all there is to it. You can crank this stuff out in about 10 minutes worth of effort. And for pennies, you have something so much better, fresh, hot, right out of the oven, than you can buy in any grocery store. You need to try this one. Go. Try it.